getting an early start today. It's 7.44. I uh, just got home about 20 minutes ago from working out. So I'm ready to eat. What we got? Chubby hubby today. Fudge covered peanut butter filled pretzels. <laughs> Fudge covered peanut butter filled. I actually had to practice saying that a couple times before we started. Give it a shot. It's kind of a tongue twister. Fudge covered peanut butter filled pretzels in vanilla malt ice cream with fudge and peanut buttery swirls. Are you kidding me? I don't know. Stuff sounds ridiculous. Um, oh, you can't see those probably. 340 calories per serving, 20 grams of fat, 33 carbs, 7 protein. I wasn't even on me when I said that, was I? We'll get off this one real quick. So, chubby hubby. About to eat it. Here's today's planned food. We've got 2,472 calories, 90 fat, 200 even carbs, 177.9 protein. Not missing protein by too much. Um, I'm having two servings of liquid egg whites, two servings of lunch meat chicken breast, two Greek yogurts, four more servings of egg whites, brown rice again, four ounces of chicken breast, 30 grams of onions, uh, mushrooms, some soy sauce, bread, a serving of Sci Fit Whey, and the Chubby Hubby. So, again, subject to minor change, but macros and calories are going to stay about the same. And the Chubby Hubby is definitely at least half. You see, it's 1,360 calories, and we're only at 2,472. So, it's getting the job done. And for the day, today is. August 18th, turning stories, we'll refresh it again, alright, so that's today, let's get in, let's get into it, I'm ready to try this flavor, I've been looking for it for a long time, so, real excited, I finally found it, here we go, three, two, one. This way. Take this off. It annoys me wearing this in the videos. Alright. So, Chubby Hubby. Got a recommendation on one of the videos yesterday. Shush. For this. It's possible I'm going to have to take my dog out. He hasn't going yet this morning, so stop. Um, <laughs> I'd make the video longer. Alright. So, so far, nice and swirly. I am. I really hope there's a lot of these pretzel things, because they sound amazing. The base is really good. Kind of reminds me of how mud pie tasted tried that. Here we go. Got a good one you can see better. Yeah. The fudge cover pretzel things. Pretty good. I'm good. I'm liking it. Not sure. Not sure if I'm crazy about it yet. Give it a little more time. Definitely good. Good amount of peanut butter flavor. Not tons. Nothing like uh, peanut butter world. So, since I'm done on that for now, it's good. Looks like there's a fair amount of these pretzels. I can see like four right now. Three. I'll try to get a old one. They're a little smaller than I thought. Not really be able to see that very well. Get out of here.
very pretzely. Oh. Kind of hard to tell that they're peanut butter filled. They should really be bigger. Have more peanut butter. Bring out the flavor more. Workout today went well. Uh, some of the stuff was up. Some was, um, well, I don't really say if anything was down because it was a little different from last week's. But uh, all in all, it was better than last week. So, again, day four, um, numbers growing up or at least staying the same. So, Working well for that so far. Good. Hmm. I'm a little disappointed, truthfully. I was really, really excited about this flavor. And uh, it's not as good as I'd hoped. It's good. It's definitely good. Stop. I expected to be blown away. I'm not. <laughs> Jeez. There are a lot of these peanut butter things, though. Like always, smell ice cream now. Even though I can't smell. Hmm. What else is new? Well, like I said, high burn day today. It's my cardio class tonight. So, um, normally on these days I'd eat like 2,600. I'm right around 25. Tuesday's burn was lower than. It had been. Generally, it's mid to high at 4,000s, according to the bug. Which, by the way, I think overestimates me by five to 600, judging on my weight loss when I first started using it. But uh, according to the bug, and last and uh, Tuesday, it was only very low. I think it was like right under 4,200. So, probably going to have to start dropping cows. Um, burn is dropping. That's expected. Overall energy decreases. You know, as calories come down, as you get deeper in the cut, that takes it down. As your weight comes down, your body doesn't have to work as hard. That brings it down. One thing I like about this is it's so dense. It's taking a lot longer to get through. Well, that's good. And savor it. The one last night. Plowed through. I was trying to go slow. Mmm. Don't get me wrong. It's a good flavor. It's like peanut butter. I'd try it, but for how amazing it sounded, it's a real letdown, which sucks. I have two of them. I mean, that's fine, but <clears throat> oh well. Can't love them all, I guess. Only got like four hours of sleep. That's not much less than normal. I usually get about five on 
weekdays. One more on weekends. On Sunday, at least. So, I don't run on a ton of sleep. And, uh, usually fine. I'm a little tired this morning, though. I was tired at the gym. Really tired. But, it didn't affect performance. I was tired. We got a good bit left. Oof, looks like a good bite. Picked up a few more flavors today. It was a nice little sale on some uh, Bluebell and Some other one that I've never tried. I haven't had a lot of Bluebell. I always hear really good things. And it's made in the South, so I'm new to it. So I'm new to the South. But we'll see. We got buttered pecan, <coughs> cotton candy, um, banana split. And some other like peanut buttery type thing. And those, those I'll probably have to fit some two in. Well, one and other stuff, ice cream cones, stuff like that, because they're uh, like seven hundred something calories. Most of them, seven to eight hundred. For a pint, so a lot less. So we'll see. It'll be interesting to see how uh, how different my hunger is with those. Probably filling the rest in with other stuff, but not a big difference. I don't know. This flavor is growing on me, but you now. Still, man, I was just so pumped about these freaking formal, formal, these freaking chocolate pretzel things. Here you can see one. They're like, it's like a little doggy bone. But, they're the main letdown, really. Because, It just, it basically just tastes like a chocolate dip, one of those little mini pretzels that's dipped in chocolate. Or I can't taste the peanut butter at all. They're just too small. But it's good. The sweet and salty together is good. Getting close to the end. Notice I didn't make a short version of the video yesterday. I'll probably do that today. Well, if I do, it'll be before this one. But just uh, forgot. I was already rendering the the big one. I want to stop it. That was a good bite. It was very peanut buttery. Whew. Oh. Damn. That was good. If every bite was like that, this would be top burner. But this isn't even my top ten. It's good, but man. Yeah. I think I like mud pie better. Don't buy a peanut butter? Probably not. I'm getting all my flavors confused. That's right, the base reminded me of my pie. Almost gone. Two more bites. Wow. 
last one. <clears throat> Not nearly as depressed as last night. So, chubby hubby. Final verdict. Say 7.5. It's definitely good, but very lackluster, let down, really kind of bland. Um, but, you know, I like very, very flavorful foods in general. I think I have really crappy taste buds, so I need it to pop. So, you know, you might like it if you don't, if it doesn't take a lot. Like, I'll pretty much never eat a, a plain ice cream. Like, you'll never see me buy, you know, chocolate or vanilla. Like, if you mix it with something okay but mm -mm. so you know if you're into that kind of thing if you don't need a ton of ton of excitement then you can try it but it did not do it for me so that's it 7.5 out of 10 we'll see how full it keeps me hopefully quite a bit because it's pretty heavy and that's all I got